Well, in today's uh, market, which stoves have changed from what your grandfather used to have? Uh, it used to be that you had a steel box, and uh, once you started to fire, you used uh, the damper to rob that fire of oxygen to make it last all night, which it did, but at the same time, you created a lot of smoke, uh, which carries particulates into the atmosphere. Today's stoves are clean burning products. They are still the same uh, steel box that you build a fire in, but there are secondary methods with which the particulates are burned up as fuel. There are wood stoves, pellet stoves, and gas burning stoves. The advantage is, first of all, of, of natural gas is that it is inexpensive, it's clean, and meets all the clean air requirements. Pellet stoves uh, are in most instances better for people who live in a rural setting, however many city dwellers like to have them as well, because obviously the people in the rural areas don't have access to natural gas. They burn uh, clean and yet the cost of the fuel is uh, way less than the traditional methods uh, of, of heating, uh, especially with diesel and with propane. Um, and also you can burn in many of the stoves, not all, but many of the stoves, other biomass such as corn or sunflower seeds, uh, grains. We have uh, some growers in the uh, New Plymouth area that are growing sorghum, which has been pelletized and can burn in special stoves. Uh, some of the advantages of getting the newer stoves, uh, one would be the burn much cleaner than the old products that are on the market and they meet the environmental demands. They are also more efficient so that the cost of burning and heating is going to be lessened. You may have an older heating system that costs you a mint to finance every year. Uh, most homes in this valley will burn two to two and a half tons of pellets a winter which is going to be maybe four hundred and fifty dollars to heat all winter long. The state of Idaho particularly has got incentives in the way of uh, uh, tax deductions. Um, that tax deduction does require that you recycle an old wood stove uh, and then you can uh, deduct up to five thousand dollars over four years. Oregon has a tax credit of up to three hundred dollars and the federal government has a tax credit of 30% um, up to $1,500, and that expires in December, end of December of 2010. You know, Kinney and Keel is a, a long standing um, retailer in the Western Treasure Valley. Uh, we've been here since 1926. We've been in the heating business since 1982, and we've been able to follow the business from uh, wood heating through the pellet industry and then into the gas industry. We're locally owned business. We care about our customer and not only do we sell product, but we have a, a fantastic service department.